I'm here to introduce Bill 10, the Financial Statutes Amendment Act 2023. If passed, this bill would implement a number of key policies included in this year's budget. Budget 23 secures Alberta's future by growing the economy, strengthening health care, creating more jobs, and focusing on public safety to support Albertans. It comes with a commitment to strengthen Alberta's fiscal stability and ensure the province's long-term financial prosperity. As we know, Alberta's revenue is volatile and impacted by global markets and events beyond our control. This creates unique planning challenges and highlights the need for a framework to help guide our fiscal decision making. Bill 10 proposes to fill that gap by implementing a new fiscal framework for the province. Alberta's proposed fiscal framework would provide flexibility for revenue swings while adding more rigor around expense decisions which are within government's control. First, the framework would mandate annual balanced budgets with limitations on in-year and year-over-year -year increases in expense, with the exception for specific circumstances such as an unexpected disaster or decline in revenue. Second, it would set policies for the allocation of surplus cash with at least half of any surplus going towards debt repayment. Any remaining amount would be allocated to a new Alberta fund, which would effectively serve as a holding account. Funds held in this account could only be used to fund additional contributions to the Alberta Heritage Savings Trust Fund that could be held for additional debt repayment in the future or one-time spending initiatives. Ultimately, the framework would guide responsible fiscal management while providing the ability to meet Albertans' needs both now and in the future. It would allow us to continue to deliver the programs and services Alberta, Albertans rely on while using their hard-earned tax do dollars efficiently. We're also streamlining the process to further grow the Alberta Heritage Savings Trust Fund. Currently, legislation requires that all of the Heritage Fund's net income not required to inflation-proof the fund is transferred to the general revenue. The proposed legislation would retain all income in the fund and would require a directive from Treasury Board to transfer any amount to general revenue.